So we usually start these things off with a joke. Harry Carey? Who wants to hear a joke about potassium? Uh, I don't know who. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are hard. <laughs> Awkward introduction complete. 2017. So guys, we're starting our fifth year in Robot in three days, and it's going to be bigger and better than ever. We've got 11 teams this year, and we thought because we have so many teams, we needed to have a, a little bit of an episode to talk about who we got. Yeah, we're coming to you live from here in sunny central Florida, a steamy 78 degrees here today, uh, despite it being December. It's cold enough to wear my moccasins. He's got his mocks on. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to announce our teams. We're going to start it off with the original team. That's our team. Representing from Central Florida, we got Robot in three days, 1.0, RI3D 1.0. Uh, the team lead I we have listed as Dan Richardson, but okay, I think some I people like would, no. people will argue with that. <laughs> I think it's probably Robbie Wallace or maybe Andrew Rudolph. No, who knows? Maybe even Mike Walker or Barry Bonds. Like I'm not really even sure. Really, at the end of the day, pretty much Gabe Salas just rules from the rear. So he basically just listed off most of our team. Actually, you know what? It's Cute Baby. Cute Baby. Who's cute, cute Baby. No, it's Cute Baby's mama. Cute Baby's mama. Yeah. The team has a bunch of capabilities. We've got uh, a complete machine shop, basically with sheet metal fabrication capability, lays, welding. Uh, we've added on a CNC mill that we can use this year, a full Bridgeport CNC. And, and as you can see here, we're trying to learn electronics. And uh, returning back with us for the technically fourth year, the first year they kind of didn't finish the row as Team Indiana. Uh, they work out of the Andy Mark build space. These guys have access to a plethora of parts. I mean, they have the whole Andy Mark warehouse that they're allowed to get parts. Well, I don't know. I don't know how the rules are for what they can get, but they can get a lot of parts. I, let me see. I thought that were, their name was actually Team Corn. No, it's Team Andy, Andy Mark fueled by corn. Fueled by corn. They're fueled by corn and Andy Mark. It's ethanol. <laughs> Are they Brazilian? Um, Danny Blau was not a very Portuguese name. No. So Danny Blau runs the team. They've also got Bill from the team. He ran Team Kakamami last year. Um, they've got a bunch of experienced people that a lot of you know um, have helped us with the Robot in the Weekend build. Um, really, Basically really all your favorite people from Andy Mark and more. Except for Andy. He doesn't actually... Yeah, um, Andy... Bigger, busy guy. Usually, usually busy trying to get all your parts out the door. Andy, man. <laughs> the Andy man can. So Team Indiana, back again, year four. We'll see what they can do their senior year. They've, the last two years, they've built amazing machines, and I'm sure they'll uh, continue that. Yeah, and another team returning, we've got Team Orion. Uh, team Orion is out of Texas. Uh, this is kind of confusing. They build out of the Jersey Voltage build site in Houston, Texas, instead of uh, the Ri Orion uh, Rice. Oh, yeah, they used to be at University. Rice University and the Orion Lab. Yeah. Yeah. So Jersey Voltage build site. We actually had to look that up. It's not that they're actually building in Jersey. We thought they were like Jersey Shore with the situation <laughs> and Snooky. No, it's Snooki? just the name of a town in Snooky. The name. Yeah, it's Snooky. Yeah, it's Snooky. But no, it's just the name it's of a, a town in there's Texas. There's a place in Texas called Jersey. Who would have thought? Yeah. I'm part, the people who live there yeah. probably hate that we're messing it up. It's all right. It's not Worcester. It's led by... Uh, and we'll get there. <laughs> it's led by Andrew Nagel. Oh, they're involved with Worcester. They are. They're, they uh, they're have affiliations with uh, Worcester Polytechnical <laughs> Institute of Technology. <laughs> <laughs> Worcester. 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 All right. And they got a Dunkin' Donuts in the middle of the campus. <laughs> Do they really? Um, no. Probably. I don't, I don't, I've been there once. Oh, yeah. It's cold. Yeah. I like them. They're cool. Uh, they play crud. Sorry. I messed you up. Go on. Really solid machines every year. Yeah. Um, this really year's... known for their LED presence. <laughs> their LED presence. <laughs> their LED and awesome robot reveals. So, uh... Uh, yeah. And, and, but this is the first year, I think, that they're building out of the, the, new, the school. So we'll see, they're yeah. out of the Orion lab, so we'll see how that goes. And they've changed team leadership, so it's another big thing for mm -hmm. them. Another team coming back to us in their third year is uh, Team Tesla coming to us from this. That's a sound. It's a Tesla it's coil Tesla, sound. Tesla sound. They come from uh, the Snowy White North, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. They actually have kids from a bunch of their local teams come out. A lot of rookie kids, students rather, who come out. They don't know anything. They work with the professional mentors and the, and the college mentors. And in this accelerated build, they take that information then back to their teams and 
really gives all their teams what they believe as a as a big head start. It's two representatives for every team in the area come to participate in their build, so it's pretty neat. And they typically build more than one robot. Um, they're not necessarily the most complex. They're usually pretty basic because of the team that they have. Um, but we know that the kids get a lot out of it. Another team returning this year for their third year is Snow Problem. Apostrophe, apostrophe Snow. Apostrophe Snow. I think it's, it's Snow Problem. Um, they're coming from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, they actually, well, they're in the Twin Cities, so they're, they come from both sides of the river. Uh, the leader is Evan Hochstein. <laughs> Hochstein. Hochstein. No, I think it's Hochstein. I think it's Hochstein. Evan Hochstein. It's I don't know real. if we should really talk about him working for first. Okay, well, he's a guy. Evan, Evan, who's very well known in the community. Yeah, I won't. I shouldn't give his email out on the, no. <laughs> on the internet. What else about them? They do uh, oh, really. Their build space is like above a Chipotle or something. Their build Burger. space is above a Chipotle. There's How does anybody like get any work done? Apparently, it smells like delicious fried chips constantly. Jeez, could they get sponsored? You imagine if a, the number one sponsor in team was a steak burrito. The, bath, not, the not, bathroom would be used a lot. Not Chipotle <laughs> themselves, just the steak burrito. <laughs> steak. So they've got a uh, connection with the University of Minnesota, some potential grants and things that they get through them. It's a big sponsor. Um, and they currently have a small uh, office space and storage space which serves as their build. So we'll see if that's above the Chipotle or not. Uh, moving on, uh, coming to us from the Pacific Northwest is Team Redacted. Redacted. Um, they are build, building out of the first... Uh, Washington Fieldhouse. They have a pretty neat build space. They usually have a lot of space. Um, yeah, the Fieldhouse. Yeah. First Washington Field Fieldhouse. It's a robotic Fieldhouse. Yeah, That's pretty neat. Pacific Northwest Washington. They've got a machine shop trailer. They really try hard to not use those tools because they want to work with hand tools that they think most teams have. So um, they're going to use table saw, drill press, bandsaw, stuff like that. Chop saw. Uh, chop saw. Um, another really neat thing is. They use the key mentors from their region, so they're going to have a lead robot inspector. They'll have FTAs, and um, so they are really good about explaining some of the really specific rules that we a lot of other three-day builds miss. It's raining outside. Nice. <laughs> uh, and they're led by Eric Van Buren. So another team coming for their second year. We got the Greenhorns from Becker High School, Becker, Minnesota. Uh, this year they're going to be led by Jesse Lee. Um, I think that's her last name, not her middle name. <laughs> Jesse Lee. I thought it was something else. Her email address. I don't know. Some of these people we don't we don't know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so sad. Um, they're affiliated with CIS forty six oh seven. You know, last year they built a pretty cool robot. You know, on uh, very few resources. So. Um, we're hoping that they can uh, do it again. They're able to use uh, welding, metal shop capabilities, uh, and they build in various classrooms, and I think the library, oh, they use the library for interviews and video production, so they're gonna have to really turn up the gains. <laughs> Too quiet. Quiet. <laughs> so now we're gonna get to some of the newbies, some of the new teams. The first one's another team coming to us from Calgar Calgary. And they are working out of the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology, or SAIT. So the SAIT RI3D is run by Daniel Barrett. Um, they've got a bunch of college college students and professionals who are working with them. Uh, you know, they're a rookie team. They're at a, a technical institute out up there. They, yeah. We'll see what they can do. We, we have high hopes for them. A lot of uh, senior sort of mentors, people who are very involved with their community coming together. I think it's actually where they host their uh, local kickoff in that oh, okay. area. So um, they're going to be working on that in the morning and probably going to even get a little bit of a late start because of that. Right. But um, another neat thing is they've actually got some of the production capability from uh, their school where they're going to be bringing as a, as a, as oh, a school right. effort to tr produce some of these videos for uh, the page. So should be some uh, pretty quality work. Yep. We're looking forward to another Canadian machine. Yep. So moving back to the south, we've actually got a new team called the Zoo Keepers. They're out of Columbia, Missouri, or Mizzou. Mizzou, so it's Z-O-U Z Zoo. Mizzou. <laughs> University of Missouri. They're affiliated with uh, the FRC 3792, the Army Ants, and they're led by a gentleman by the name of Patrick Smith. So here's a neat fact. They're uh, going to be building out of the Agricultural Engineering Department at MU. Not, a, not an engineering discipline that we hear a lot of in first agricultural engineering. Uh, they've got a uh, full metal working machine shop. In terms of their vi video production, they actually have a, an amateur filmmaker who's produced a lot of content, um, so we're excited to see 
what they're able to do. Um, should you know high expectations for the zookeepers. All right, our next rookie team coming to us from Texas will be team named Week Six. Week and, Six. Week Six. So not W E A K. W E E K. Week Six. They're associated with Team Fifty Seven. That's where Team Fifty Seven is from. Uh, Dylan McDonald is running the team, and which what we like about this team is everyone constantly asks us, how can we get involved with Robot in three days? We want to start a team. Uh, they reached out to us on Twitter, said, hey, we want to start a team. What do we do? And we got the conversation rolling, and here they are. They're going to be competing this year. We think they could do well from what we've talked to them. Um, yep. And another team from Texas. Uh, it's, you know, it's just another cool thing about what we, we like about Robot in three days and what it's bringing to the table. We've got all these college teams spawning up. And I know that I mentored in college and you mentored in college and it really is a, is a significant time commitment. It takes a lot of time away from your classes. But with the college kids getting involved with the three-day builds, you know, at, at worst, you only miss one day of class. I mean, it's, it's three days uh, and you're pretty much in and out and you get that first itch scratched. Um, and, and that's just another team that's reaching out for the same thing. They want to build a bot. They want to be able to mentor their local communities, but they need to get a lot of it done front loaded in the, in the season. So look out for week six. Week six. And they also have more than six members on their team. Yeah. That says 12. So they got be, 12. So it's, it's week six to the second. No, it's, doubled. it's just times two. Times two. So our last team is, uh, team national instruments. We're really excited about this because uh, the National Instruments uh, guys, a lot of people don't know that they actually have a significant mentor uh, group presence, with yeah. presence in their um, in their organization, and they're really excited about sort of getting their brand name out and trying to help the first community more. Um, obviously, they produce a ton of the equipment, like the Robo Rio. I mean, these guys are obviously they're professionals. They they know this stuff inside and out. We, we think NI should be able to do a, a really good job. So they're just getting started up. They're coming kind of late to the game, and but they want to get ex some excitement built up, and they're actually going to be sponsoring a number of our teams as well. So you know, this year we've got 11 teams coming at us. Uh, a lot of excitement. A, a, a ton of different examples of how you can build your robot. A lot of different creative ideas, and hopefully a ton of mentorship. But with the 11 teams, we're probably going to be playing with our uh, method of releasing video content. I mean, you can do the math. 11 videos a day for three days of build, plus reveal, plus any post videos. We'd be looking at something like 55 videos posted to our YouTube channel in a week. That's just too much video, I think, for anyone to watch. Um, so we still want to get that content to you quickly. And what we're going to probably do is a form of compilation video where we uh, host a show every night and we talk about all the different ideas that are coming together and we get that edited down for you guys to watch in a, in a longer episode. Any of the standalone videos that, that are pretty well edited and can stand on their own, we're probably still going to release separately. Um, but grouping that content, we feel like it's going to give you guys a better viewer experience. Well, I'm excited. There's a lot of good content. I hope we can get a lot of inspiration out there for everyone, give them a lot of ideas of where to start. Um, it's going to be an interesting build, and uh, I can't can't wait. Yeah, steampunk. Stem, steampunk. Stumpunk. Steampunk. Steam with that art. <laughs> Stem with the art. Steam to the team. I just like how you said I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Why are you so tired? Just damn. You want to go see Star Wars? I mm know. -hmm. In the comfy seats. It's got like the recliners. The comfy seats? Yeah. You're going to the Fork and Dine? No, we're going to Artagon. What's the Argon? Argon Cinemark. It's got like their bark, they're literally lounge chairs. That you they're can just making up words. Argon Cinemark. They don't like cinema. I do. We should have clapped at the beginning of each video clip. Like clap at the end? You can, but it's not going to sync up right because this is going to be four pieces. <laughs>